Hi, I'm Manish Ranjan, uh, CEO and founder of Nano Health. Um, we are solving the biggest health problem of our generation. You know, the problem of non-communicable diseases like diabetes, hypertension. This is a very unique uh, problem, um, you know, and uh, the solution got to be unique as well. I mean, just to give, get, get an estimate of, uh, you know, the kind of how big the problem is, it's uh, around two thirds of all the deaths today is happening because of non-communicable diseases. Uh, more and more people are uh, suffering uh, because of the lifestyle changes uh, that is happening, the, you know, the age. People are living uh, longer and longer and it's affecting uh, more and more of them. Another thing very unique about these diseases are that they, they make you economically, uh, you know, not uh, feasible a long time before. So that effectively means that even before you actually die, you know, you're uh, become ineffective uh, in, in many a ways. You know, just another marker is like every 12 seconds, someone dies out of heart attack and uh, in just in India. So, you know, I mean, the, the extent of problem is as big. Uh, but what's very unique about uh, these diseases are that uh, they are asymptomatic that means that there are no symptoms so just like if you may have flu then there will be fever and all but these these have no symptoms and the other thing is like unlike again flu after a few days you get okay and you're 100 percent fine but uh, for these diseases you just can't get better i mean like you can only manage them effectively so our entire healthcare system at this point of time which is reactive and fragmented um, you know uh, is just not suited to solve this problem of non-communicable diseases and that's where uh, was the birth of uh, you know nano health to solve this specific problem and we have been able to come up with a solution that can make the existing health system more proactive coordinated and continuous the whole idea of nano health emerged when uh, me and my team members were in i uh, studying healthcare management at indian school of business um, and uh, while we were uh, there we were working on multiple ideas and uh, that's when and, and the whole you know one of, just like many different competitions within our business school uh, the challenge of Hull Prize came in and Hull Prize was like the largest student competition in the world every year they come up with uh, one specific problem which is affecting the mankind our generation the most and uh, then uh, you know they expect all the students around the world to ha come up with a solution for that that year the challenge was how do you solve the problem of non-communicable diseases and that too in urban slums which is like which makes it a lot more uh, difficult um, we participated in that and we were actually the winner of uh, that uh, competition, the only winners so far. I mean, that was back in 2014. And they selected a winner, a team from the Indian School of Business and their innovative concept, Nano Health. President Clinton gave us a million dollars to solve this uh, biggest problem of uh, health problem of our generation. And, uh, you know, and that's what we have uh, been uh, doing so far. And since then, we have tested, we have touched more than 80,000 lives. Uh, we, we have been able to show the impact that anyone who has uh, actually used our uh, solution, they have been able to reduce their blood pressure, blood sugar levels, uh, and effectively they're extending the life uh, of uh, the people. And, uh, you know, and then uh, we are in the market, and, you know, ready to serve, uh, we are ready into to scale it to in multiple uh, business segments at this point of time. So we are into work in three business segments. Uh, one is we work with large NGOs and uh, governments uh, where who are providing you know the health and wellness center, the community health uh, solution and so on. So we provide uh, technology and uh, program management solutions for them. Uh, like one of the programs we are doing is uh, hypertension management for 100,000 people in Bihar. Similarly, we're working at Sirsila here uh, for uh, managing uh, the entire health and wellness centers and, uh, you know, the community health together in an integrated fashion. Our other offering is uh, for the corporates health and wellness, where the wellness has been kind of proven that though important has not given the required ROI. And that's where we come in with our disease management solution. And uh, we have been able to show that not only the health of uh, the employees improved, the employee engagement improves, but you are also able to reduce uh, the health claims, so, which is again very kind of just uh, unheard of and we have actually been able to prove it with uh, the complete data. We also work with uh, clinics and hospitals to improve their patient engagement, which is like once they reach out to the hospital and clinics, you know, I think doctors does their best, but what happens, you know, after they have left the clinic uh, and hospital, that's where again our solution comes in which ensure that the continuity of care is uh, maintained uh, in a most uh, you know, proactive way possible. 
today's healthcare system is just not ready to gear up uh, with the challenge. I mean, they can fix a, a pe people, person with uh, having heart attack and make them alive again, but they can't prevent uh, the heart attack from coming. And that's where we come in. Um, so the whole healthcare system with the big hospital and big clinics are absolutely, you know, reactive and fragmented. So what happens to the patient, uh, you know, after they have left the uh, premises of the clinic or hospital. Usually there are no connect after that. And that's where our solution comes in, which ensures that uh, that continuum of care is maintained. It's a win-win for everyone. The health of uh, the person or the patient improves because there is a continuity of care. And you know, since they are using and utilizing more services, the even the revenue for the clinic and hospitals uh, increase. I think we are in this shift right now from uh, you know so called you know solving the problems of flu and uh, you know heart attacks and accidents to some something you know managing the whole idea of management of disease which is not about providing the one time pill for a week or or month but it's about how do you ensure that the connect you are continuously connected uh, with your your patients I think we are uh, ready to kind of scale up now. Basically, our goal is to reach out to more than 15,000 people in the uh, in the corporate segment in the year 2019. Uh, we also want to reach out to more than 100,000 people in uh, you know the public or underserved uh, people managing their health. I think the impact in terms of you know reduced uh, blood pressure level or the health improvement be for everyone to see. So yeah, we have big plans uh, as we move forward uh, from from now, and we definitely seek all the support possible to make sure that. Uh, you know that we, we are able to do it and it actually directly impacts the health of the people that we work with. One thing I'll definitely like to mention is uh, uh, that CIE uh, over here has been added a lot of value. It's not only about the space, is I think the most important thing is just the energy uh, that you see around, be with other uh, you know startup uh, founders or their team members. And uh, you know all, all the support in terms of technical or operational or business development business segments that you can keep talking about them and learning from each other, and uh, you know and that's where you kind of come in and uh, you don't. Uh, the biggest thing that you can learn from others is uh, the, the mistake that they have made. You don't make the same mistake, and that can save a lot of time and money. Where uh, especially for startups, uh, where you know the resources and the time is always uh, a constraint.